In this video, I want to demonstrate the use of Surface EMG biofeedback to help a client know when uh, their muscles are firing. So I have a Surface EMG unit here. Uh, this particular one uh, can use uh, electrodes that are all in one. You'll see there are three separate electrodes here, uh, but they're kind of all in one patch. If I use a, a different lead, I can have three separate electrodes and put them wherever I want, but I'm just going to do this for now. So you'll take this and peel it off. You have to be a little careful when you peel it off that you don't move the goo that's there because if that goo touches the adjacent electrode, then it won't work. Um, I'm just going to take this and kind of put it over wrist extensors generally. All right. And then here on the unit, um, I'll just show you how this works. To turn it on, you just turn, rotate the uh, dial and it turns on, goes through a couple little tests here. And then it shows we're doing continuous. Um, there was nothing set for channel B. Uh, channel A does not have a goal right now. And these little um, red lines right here on channel A, which is what we're hooked up to, is showing the electrical activity that it's sensing. So uh, can you just go ahead and lift your wrist back? So you'll see when she lifts her wrist back, it shows more electrical activity and then go ahead and relax. Okay, um, go ahead and make a fist. Tight as you can, tight fist, tight, 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 tight. There you go. And you'll see that it goes up again and then goes back down. So you could use this uh, with someone again, for example, that had a radial nerve palsy. Um, they were having a hard time relearning how to use those muscles innervated by the radial nerve. Uh, and this would help them to be able to see, you'd have the display facing them, obviously, but that, this would help them to see uh, just what their muscles are doing. Uh, even if the muscles aren't strong enough to move, make a movement, they could see that they're actively firing. The other thing uh, that we can do here is we can set a goal. Right now we don't have a goal, but you can say, I want the, um, them to go above a certain amount of activity, or I want them to stay below a certain amount of activity if your goal is to, for them to actually relax a muscle that's firing too much. Finally, um, you can set a goal for a ratio of whatever is plugged into channel A to whatever is plugged into channel B. For example, if they're using one muscle too much to substitute, you might say, I want one muscle to relax, the one that's doing the substitution to relax, while the one that's supposed to do the job is actively firing. And that you would do with the ratio A to B and, and set it so that when one is uh, you know, doing half of, say, what the other is, the way you want it to, it will let the client know. I'm just going to do a quick goal above here. And so I'm going to push this A button again, and it says goal none. No, that's not what I want. I want goal above, okay? And right now you can see that the uh, goal is set at point 0.1. So anytime she goes above point 0.1, a little light up here that says success will go on, and also there's um, a little chime that sounds. It's not very loud. Uh, again, can you just uh, bring your wrist back? Okay, so when she brings her wrist back, you see the little success light goes on. That means she's met her goal. When it drops down below the goal, the success light goes off. And you can change that goal to, you know, as high or low as you want. Uh, if I say, well, we should be able to hit this every time now. Okay, bring your wrist back again. And you'll see when it crosses that line, our little green light goes on. When it drops below that line, the little green light goes off. 